Hey everybody, I'd like to share with you the yeast freezing technique that's been taught to me. It's a great way to have yeast around all the time in your brewery, lasts for one to two years. It's great to just uh, pop a vial out and get to brewing. Here's all the equipment you'll need for the process. We have 1020 wart as well as glycerin. I pressure can the stuff so it's sterile before I use it. And we have 50 milliliter vials, which I got on Amazon. And we have some sort of cooler you're going to put in your freezer. Pretty much anything will do. And then we have the yeast. I like to use RBA yeast and RBA yeast labs. Okay, I like to start with the pressure cooker. Throw all my vials in, any kind of mason jars or anything I'll be using to transfer the wort around. And uh, sit up there with some water. Put the lid on. If I can ever get it on, there we go. Then I just run it up to 15 PSI, let it go for five minutes or so, just to get everything nice and clean. Okay, here's everything laid out on the table, which I pre-sanitized. Got the wort, the glycerin, yeast, ascorbic acid, and the vials. Get to the ascorbic acid in a bit. I like to sanitize the edges of the mason jars. Those will be pouring out of them. So every little bit helps. Spray that down and let it sit a little bit. Touch the ring to the lid, try not to touch it where you're going to pour. Okay, so I'm adding the wart to the glycerin. This is a 50-50 mix. So in this case it was 100 milliliters of wart and 100 milliliters of glycerin. I'm going to add the ascorbic acid. This is one gram per liter, which ends up being a pretty small amount of ascorbic acid. Okay, so I'm gonna put the lid back on this and just make sure it's mixed up really well. The glycerin is gonna protect our yeast when we freeze it. So we wanna make sure it's really well dispersed with the wart. All right, after that's mixed up, I'm going to Add the solution to the four vials. See if I can get the lid off here. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna add 20 to 25 milliliters, which would be about half of the 50 milliliter vial. These have markings on the side, which are really easy to read, which I recommend getting. So I'm going to try to pour without touching the edge at all. Try to be as clean as possible. And uh, for the ease of the video, I've you know left the lids off. You might want to just replace the lid after each pour. This will keep any airborne contaminants out of the mix. See how some of that dribbled down the mason jar? That's why it's good to uh, sanitize the outside of the jar as well. Okay, so we got four vials, pretty much half full. And now we're going to just add the yeast. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, one thing to consider is the yeast is going to be at times difficult to get out of the container depending on the strain so you might want to plan for that 
wound up shaking a lot longer than I expected because this yeast was kind of just clumping at the bottom and you need to get it in a sort of pourable state. Okay, so now I'm just gonna top up. We'll take it up to the 45, almost 50 milliliter mark. There's one thing I want to point out. You'll see as we get to the fourth vial that I'm actually getting less air and more liquid than the first vial. See how it's darker on the fourth one? So you need to sort of let that settle and then you'll go back and add some more to the first ones. But that's just what you have to do to get it to be able to pour out of the yeast container. Okay, now that the lids are back on, we are ready to move to the next step, which is basically just giving these vials a little bit of a shake, uh, sort of a delicate mix. I don't, you know, don't want to go crazy and uh, create a lot of you know, bubbling action in there, but basically we want to mix up the yeast with that gelatin wort solution so it's really well distributed. And after that is all mixed up, next up we're just going to put it in the freezer. Here I have my cooler, I have my two ice packs. We're going to use these ice packs to try to level out any kind of temperature fluctuations in the freezer. So I put one below it, and then after I add the vials in the cooler, I'm going to put one on top or to the side, depending on how many vials you have in there. Okay, then we just slide it in the freezer. Uh, I like to keep that lid open because we want these vials to freeze, freeze pretty quickly. So here's my entire yeast bank. Take the pack off. I got, I think, four different strains in here, maybe five. You can see how they're frozen solid. And uh, we're ready to move on to the next step, which is pulling out a vial and using it to brew with. First thing we're gonna do is do some starter steps. We'll begin with a 250 milliliter stage with some wort. That begins with just taking one vial out. Okay, let it sit for 24 hours on just at room temperature. Here's our next little bit of equipment. Make a starter. I've got some wort, there's the 250 milliliter, and then a larger one, that'll be the next step. And then here's my container, strainer, and the actual vial itself. We'll start by sanitizing the container, as always. Put that star sand everywhere. Add the little strainer, also the lid, foil lid. Oh, quality control expert. Okay, so there's the vial. It's been sitting out for 24 hours at room temperature. I'm gonna open up my jar of wort, which I have pressure canned, so it's ready to go. Make sure you don't pour where the uh, rim touched. Okay, so pouring it through the strainer, you can see there's a little bit of tube and stuff in the drawer, so I like to strain it so it's clear in the actual starter container. And then you're just gonna pour in the yeast. I usually crack it first because it's gonna expand a little bit in there. Once I crack it, let the pressure off, I reseal it, sort of mix it a bit so it pours a little more evenly, and then there it goes. Try to get every last cell out.
Okay, then we'll just turn the stir plate on. And we'll get this starter going. Okay, we'll put the foil lid back on and we'll just take that in the other room and let it sit. Okay, here we are spinning up We're a little bit later in time. You can see we've created some cells. They're starting to move around in there. All right, 15 hours later, you can see we have a lot more yeast swirling around. There it is, close up. I think we're ready to move to the next stage. This is where we're gonna step it up to about two liters. First, I'm going to add some clean water. The other mason jar is filled with basically 1070 warts, so it's double strength. So I add the water to uh, get the volume up. And also bring it down to about 1035. to rotate away from where the band hit the lid if that's how you open it. All right, so we're pouring the wart through the strainer. Nice clear wart going into the starter. This is gonna be roughly about two liters when it's done in there. Try to get every last ounce. Then I add some oxygen at this stage. I run the O2 at 0.12 liters per minute for about 30 seconds. Okay, we'll put the lid back on and take it back to the room. And we'll start the stir plate. And we're just gonna let this go for, it's gonna wind up taking a few days at this stage. Here's 13 hours later. You can see we have a lot of foam, which is great. It means we have strong activity. All right, I've let it sit for two days and pretty much getting through with it. You can see that solid line forming at the top. You see we have a lot of cells floating around there, flying around, looks good. I'm going to show you a little time lapse here of the final stages when I turn the stir plate off. Okay, so here's it just settled at room temperature. I'm going to put it in the fridge now. All right, here's when I took it out of the fridge. This is when it's ready to be decanted. You can see we got a fair amount of yeast at the bottom of the container. Okay, recap. Always important to clean, sanitize, and sterilize if you can. You're going to mix that 50-50 solution of glycerin and 1020 wort along with a little bit of ascorbic acid. Combine that solution with equal part of yeast in your tube. Set all this in the freezer, surrounded by some ice packs. Take a vial out, let it thaw for 24 hours, and add it to 250 milliliters of wort. Then go ahead and step it up. You'll be ready to chill, decant, and pitch.